Hey Logo Designers, today I want to talk to you about getting organized. One of the new features coming to Logo Package Express 3, and this feature is yet again something that a small group of customers, but a very vocal group of customers, has been asking for for a long time. They seem to think that I have included too many folders and subfolders in the default logo package folder structure. So I'm happy to tell you today that you can now customize the folder structure of your logo packages in Logo Package Express 3. Let's see how it works. So before I show you how this feature works, I wanted to re-familiarize you with the default logo organization that we use for Logo Package Express. Now what we do is we start off with your components. And then inside of your components, you get all of the different color schemes that you have exported out. And then inside of that, you have a context folder, which is whether the logo is for print or for web. And then finally, you get your files. Now, it used to be that we had a color gamut folder as well for CMYK and RGB, but we have removed that level from the hierarchy for everybody, whether you customize your folder structure or not. So this is the default folder organization. Now what I want to show you is how you can use Logo Package Express 3's new features to customize this folder organization. So if we go over to the extension and we click the settings gear icon, we'll be taken to the settings page. The first tab here is the files tab. And this is where you can choose your file formats for exporting. But we now have a new section called Logo File Organization. And in here, we have the folder structure hierarchy that you just saw in the Finder window. But you can customize it. So there's two ways to customize your folder structure. The first way is that you can turn off an entire level of the hierarchy. So let's say that you don't want the color scheme folders. You don't want it to be separated by whether it's black, white, full color, etc. You can just click the eye icon and now that folder level won't be included in your export. The other way that you can customize your folder structure is you can move these folders up and down the hierarchy. So if I take the context folder and I move it up to the top, now your logo package will be organized into print and web folders first and then everything else will follow. So I've gone ahead and done an export where we've used this custom folder structure. Let's compare it to the default. So this was our custom folder. We had the components first, the color scheme second, and then finally the context. In our custom folder, we have the context first, then inside of that we have our components, and then inside of the components, we have removed the color scheme level of the hierarchy. So there are no folders for color schemes, and it is just a flat dump of all of the print logo files. And you can see the same thing is true for the logo mark. And if we open up the web folders, you can see that this is all the same here as well. So hopefully this feature will allow you to simplify the folder structure if you want to and allow you to reorganize where files are found if it makes more sense to you to do so. I hope you get a lot of use out of this feature. Thanks for watching.